my testimonial to my heart fire. It really set me loose. The wild soul, the wild, wild heart was truly awakened with my passions because that's one part of the heart fire. And I have seven passions that have been even, I would say, sleeping. Ask me for more. I will write a little bit, of course, as well. But it's seven parts of me that have been sleeping. Kind of connected, but not fully awake. The other part is that understanding of this evolutionary self in all compassion and love and harmony to truly understand the who am I and the self-mastery. We are all not there yet, but this self-mastery allows me to see beyond. It allows me to be kind and self-loving to myself, for me and for the collective. So the heart fire is not just for one uniquely, uniquely, it's for all of us. It changes the dynamics of our collective. And the other one, of course, is that ability to truly let go. Yes, I've been working on letting go and healing myself for the last more than 30 years. So I'm very consciously on that journey. But since the heart fire came and brought me the phoenix in that heart fire, the rebirthing is just so much easier. It doesn't mean I never have anything to let go, but I guess I know how to let go. And finally, it's that Senate presence that I can truly embrace now. For many years, being so into Ramana Maharashi and Advaita Vedanta, my I am presence was with me most of the time, but sometimes it's so easy to fall out. Now, the Senate presence that also comes with the heart fire, but also with the whale, allows us to stay in the highest presence and consciousness that we can access at this time. So does that sound like fun? Does that sound like you're ready for your unique experiences to figure out how this unlearning works for you, how to connect to your heart fire and to all the magic that goes around in music and nature and sound and just a lot of magic. What stops you? This is a good time. The last two and the first two official public retreats on Dance with Your Heart Fire to Self are actually this October in Sicily. Last chance for this year. We already have the first booking for next year, private, here, with us in Lamas. But I would love to see you in Sicily, if that is closer to you or if you are called. Six participants only for each retreat, making sure it stays intimate and slow-paced. See you there.